So I realized some individual plugins here have probably already been covered by other people and myself, but I wanted to take stock of all the methods I know to accomplish this sound and show the differences in one place. And that sound in question here is the garbled, warbly digital liquid texture achieved by breaking the sound up into a bunch of small frequency bands and applying dynamics processing to each band. Uh, be that like gating, compressing, or envelope following. And hopefully I haven't butchered that description too badly. Some of them use FFTEs, <clears throat> the variable bin size. Some of them use just like bandpass filters like the vocoders here. Um, but yeah, uh, before I get to the juicy part and let you hear it, um, these all tend to bias towards denoising the high frequencies more, leaving like a darker resulting signal. So I just have a couple, um, couple brightening and balancing plugins that I'm going to be putting all these through um, in the mix chain uh, that will hopefully like bring the high frequencies back a little bit and control the loudness overall. So the example sound we're going to be using here is a bunch of like design stuff layered on top of each other. from a library that I someday may or may not release, depending on if I can finish all the metadata. <laughs> um, but it, you can tell it's like, it's got too much going on. It's, it's very noisy. There's some interesting character in there, but it's all masked by just like, there's just too much going on. So, but that's great because that's, um, that's sort of what this technique thrives on having. So the first plugin that does this denoising, denoising sound is gonna be M ratio MB. Um, it's free, and my friend Alex originally showed me this one and this technique specifically. Basically, what you do is you just like load the noise tonal preset and turn the ratio of uh, noise all the way up, which removes it, and that sounds like this. And that's pretty cool. It like preserved all the character, only gave me the stuff that I wanted from the sound. Um, you can modulate this in real time as it's playing. Um, to maybe get some more interesting textures, but this is kind of a one trick pony one. You just crank it and that's what you get. Uh, the second one is gonna be Spec Ops, which sounds sort of like this. This one's got more of that like MP3 encoding, digital artifacting sort of sound to it. Um, but I'll usually, so I load up the noise filter effect and like tweak the amount. 30% usually works okay and make sure it's full width. Um, and then you can play with the FFT size to get different textures. And it really imparts that like FFT sound. I don't know, I have a better way of describing it, but you can also like Cool thing with this one is you can mix in like smear and other sort of effects at the same time. Um, it's got quite a bit of variety. There's a lot to play around with there. Uh, next one up is going to be M Spectral Dynamics. I just have the SE mini version of it, so it's not the full one. Uh, but you load, you load up the denoiser little module there and then play with this threshold right here. This is one of my personal favorites. Yeah, it's because it, I don't know, this one just has like almost a filter sweepy quality to it that I, that I really enjoy because that's one of my favorite sounds. But yeah, uh, you can mess with like threshold sharpness, resolution, natu naturality to get like a Couple different variations out of that one. Uh, next up is vocoder. This one's pretty different. Sounds like this. This one's definitely more liquidy because um, it's doing the bandpass filter thing. And uh, I don't think I showed it last time I showed you M vocoder, but when you load it up to do like the self modulating thing with no side chain, you have to make sure that inputs one and two are routed both to the in left, right, and the side chain left, right. You do that at least in Reaper by clicking that button up there. And so it's basically like modulating the sound by itself. And this view is hidden by default. I'll usually open up the equalizer and do what I was talking about before where I bias the high frequencies uh, to brighten it up a little bit and also turn up the whitening amount. Um, and you can also like mess with the bands too to get different stuff.
I find that it usually gets like more liquidy, bubbly the more bands that you have. Um, but yeah, all this stuff is like pre game. The format shift is also pretty cool. But I can move on for now to keep moving through these. Uh, Revocode also does it. But you'll notice, even though it's set to stereo mode and the routing's all correct, it's always like very narrow mono. I can't figure out why that is. If you know, please, I really would be dying to figure out why if I'm doing something wrong here. But yeah, this, this one also sounds fine if you like widen it up or set up like a stereo version of it later uh, in a separate chain. But you can also vary the bands here. That's pretty similar effect to mvocoder. Uh, next, we got RX spectral denoise. Um, I usually use it in adaptive mode as like the fastest quality, just so it doesn't eat up CPU and latency and whatever. Um, and then you crank the reduction to like an unhealthy level, so it gives you all the artifacts, which is what we're looking for. Um, this one, oh. Uh, yeah, this one is like a little bit shimmerier and brighter than the other ones, I would say. Um, you can also mess with the reduction curve. And that's similar to, uh, you know, an MVO coder where you apply the equalizer. Um, this is like biasing different frequencies, uh, different amounts for how it does the dynamics processing. It's okay. I don't use that one as much. I don't like it for the effect as much as the other ones. And I found this one, which is like a built-in Reaper one made by somebody. I, I don't know who, um, but you, it has a similar effect as well. You can also vary the FFT size for this one. Which has like a crazy different effect that sounds almost like noisier. I don't know. Um, it's there, it's an option. Uh, and Xenoise. Um, for this sound in particular, it's doing like a high ring thing. I'm not entirely sure why, but um, yeah, this is something I usually use on individual layers. And it also does weird stuff to transients where it like adds a little lead in if you stack them, uh, like multiple instances of Xenoise. But yeah, I usually mess with the reduction and threshold parameters. If you crank it up, it does more. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure why uh, why it's isolating those resonances there, but uh, I guess just believe me on like other stuff, it sounds cooler and not as like high tonal ringing. Uh, anyways, they also have X noise, uh, which you can try out too. This one is like slightly noisier and less pure than the other ones I've found, it has more of a grainy texture to it and doesn't like actually do that much denoising, even if you crank the reduction. Uh, it's whatever. Honestly, I don't use this one too much either, but it's an option. Um, and then second to last one I got to show is like Soothe, which is it's a bit different and it's poking out resonances to isolate. Uh, if you set it to Delta mode, so it's just putting out the things that it's removing and you just set like a high shelf. So it's basically like doing reduction across the whole frequency band and crank the depth. Get this. Which honestly, this one's kind of bright, so I'm gonna like turn off some of these other brightener things. That's better. Um, yeah, it's it's similar result, different approach, um, but again, it's another option and a different flavor of a similar sort of thing. And then for the last approach here, uh, you're going to need to bake it down. So I've got just like a baked down version of the whole sound right here and then crack it open in RX. And uh, my friend Justin showed me this a long time ago, but what you need to do is open the deconstruct module and turn the noisy gain all the way down. And you can just leave tonal as it is and mess with the balance to, uh, to get what you want. But I've already figured out what I'm looking for here. Then you bake it down. It takes a second to do its thing. Um, and then this is the result.
You can tell this one especially is very like low pass filtered and it needs brightening up. But for some reason today, RX and Reefer don't want to work together. So I'm having trouble like sending things back and forth. But yeah, I would just apply that same uh, brightening chain that I have here to it. And that should balance it out um, after the fact. But yeah, that, that's the whole trick. And uh, let me know if you think of a way to make Reaper vocoder work in stereo or any other approaches that you have.